Hey Vinyl community, it's Amy from Vinyl Hysteria. Um, it's been quite a while since I've made a video. Um, I actually don't even know how long it's been, but it's been a long time. I've been meaning to make one uh, for quite a while, but life has just kind of gotten in the way. Uh, yeah, I've been busy getting ready to move and uh, I've been busy at work, busy working out, and we've had a lot of snow here, so I've been busy shoveling. So basically life has just gotten in the way. I have a few things I want to share with you guys. Not a ton. Um, I've actually been um, kind of really trying not to buy a lot of records, um, you know, saving up to move. But um, so I've kind of had to learn to be a little more patient and be a little more selective. Uh, there's been a lot of great music. I don't know about you guys, but 2017 has been great so far. We've had so many great releases and uh, it's been tough for me to decide what to pre-order and what not to pre-order. Um, limited edition, uh, I tend to kind of go for um, if it's a if it's a pressing or a, a variant that I know is going to sell out and I'm not going to be able to get it um, as easily. I have been getting some of those for my favorite bands or bands I really, really, really enjoy, um, and then holding back on other ones that I know I can get at a later date without any problem. So. Um, I'm going to show you guys a few 7 inches and then just a couple of standard LPs that I got. Uh, so I'm going to start with um, this one. I went down to um, to New Jersey to stay with a friend of mine. We were going to Philadelphia to see um, Vagabond and Shamir and Julie Byrne. Um, and we went a couple different places to go record shopping. She always takes me to some cool places. And the first thing I spotted was this... Uh, uh, Sufjan Stevens 7 inch, uh, the split. Um, I love Sufjan Stevens, and uh, so anytime I can pick anything up of his, um, I do. And it seems like every time I go down to Jersey, I seem to find a 7 inch. So, uh, definitely was happy to get this one, so I picked this one up. And the next one I'm really excited about um, this is a Patty Smith 7 inch. Uh, this is Hey Joe um, and Piss Factory, and um, this is not an original pressing. This is the uh, special collector's edition um, that came out in 1977 on Sire Records, but that's okay. Um, it's still hard to find, um, and I was really, really thrilled when I saw this one. I just grabbed it right away, had to get it. Um, huge, huge, huge Patti Smith fan. I'm not super excited about Orchestra Day this year. Um, it just doesn't seem like there's a lot that I'm really excited about. But uh, I, there are two things that I want, and one of those things happens to be the uh, the new repress um, of uh, a reissue of this. So I'm really excited about it, but so happy to have this one. Even though it's not an original, it's still a cool thing to have. Okay. Um, one artist that I absolutely love and I'm going to be seeing in a couple of weeks is um, Julian Baker. She is just a phenomenal, phenomenal songwriter. I love her music so much and, um, you know, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing her live. A lot of my friends have and I've been totally jealous. So, um, but she just signed to Matador Records recently. Um, they are reissuing her um, debut album um, and they, are, they also came out with this um, limited edition 7-inch um, with uh, Funeral Pyre between distant solar systems. So I pre-ordered this immediately because I knew it was going to be limited and uh, I didn't want to miss out because her stuff tends to sell out very, very quickly. So I picked this one up. And then the last thing I got, which is, uh, I've been looking for this for a long, long time. I'm a big uh, fan of Miranda July. She's uh, a filmmaker, artist. Uh, she did some, some music stuff back in the 90s. Um, and she was in Olympia in Portland. And um, this is a band she, she was part of called CB Barnes Band. Um, this is a really tough one to find. I've not been able to find this. Uh, I've been looking for a very, very long time. Um, this one's on Horse Kitty Records. Uh, and it, I just happened to see a copy come up for sale online. It was actually from Armageddon in Boston, which is a great, great punk and metal shop. Um, I've been there before and, and found some good stuff. So, but what makes this even better is that it's got all the little uh, the little extras that came with the seven inch originally. Um, this thing is from the '90s. It's pretty cool. I like when you're still able to get all the extras in there. So, um, it has a sticker and uh, it has this cool little folded insert, which 
which is great. So um, I was super psyched to get this one for such a great price too. Um, really, I've been looking for it for a long time, a couple years. So great find. Okay, and now on to the LPs. Um, <clears throat> back in uh, January, um, Van Camp was having a benefit uh, with the, for the ACLU, where a lot of where Van Camp was donating um, their proceeds from any sales that day, digital, vinyl, whatever, um, to the ACLU. And uh, some companies, some record companies, were matching that or doing their own contribution on top of that. So I knew that I definitely wanted to buy a couple of things so that I could at least support um, their efforts. And uh, I decided to pick up a couple that I had been really wanting to get. Um, I believe this was in January. Maybe it was in February. Time is going very fast. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> so the first thing I knew I wanted to get was Allison Crutchfield, Tourist in This Town. This came out on Merge Records. Merge was doing uh, a matching uh, contribution, so I knew that I definitely wanted to get this one. This is a fantastic album. Um, I don't know if some of you may have heard of um, Waxahachie, which is uh, Katie Crutchfield, her sister, um, but the Crutchfield sisters are just super talented and awesome, but this album is fantastic. So, so good. Um, so there were some, um, there were other variants, I know, um, but this one's just a plain black one, which is fine. Um, I don't mind. It came with a bunch of extras, which was cool. Um, and that makes it pretty exciting for me. Um, it came with a poster, which is cool. And also it came with a set of stickers, Tourist in This Town stickers, which is pretty cool. And I know that these didn't come with the um, the other variant. So, um, you know, normally I would I would go for the limited edition, but I was fine with the black one because, uh, yeah, it came with a bunch of extras anyway, and Merge sent a, uh, an enamel pin too, so that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, Alison Crutchfield, really good stuff. Um, if you haven't heard her music, uh, check her out. She's just, um, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal record. Really, really love it. Um, and then I got one that actually I had been wanting in 2016. Um, this is Flock of Dimes, uh, if you see me say yes. I had been wanting this one. I would listened to it a couple of times when it was streaming, um, had really, really loved it. It's on Partisan Records. And then once I got it, I, I listened to this constantly. This is such a good album. Um, I'm always, always listening to it. So um, yeah, this is, uh, it, actually this is um, from Jen Wasner, who is uh, who's in Y Oak. So if you know that band, um, this is her solo project and it is, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. I'm really glad that I got this on vinyl. Um, <clears throat> another album that I picked up um, as a pre-order was Vagabond, Infinite Worlds. I'd seen a lot of bands that I really enjoy um, tweeting a lot about Vagabond, so uh, I listened to a song, loved it, listened to as much as I could find, and then immediately pre-ordered this album. Um, I wanted to pre-order it as well because they had a, a cool variant um, that they were going to be pressing. This is on Father Daughter Records, and uh, I really wanted to get the, the limited variant, which is Coke Bottle Clear and Metallic Gold. It is a really cool looking record. Absolutely love it. Um, I went to see Vagabond, like I was saying, and um, oh, just fantastic, fantastic live. Um, I just... I just love Leticia. She makes some really, really beautiful music. And uh, yeah, so this is a cool album. One thing that's kind of interesting about this is um, Father Daughter actually sent out a notification to everyone who um, bought the album, pre-ordered it, and said that they found out that, um, I guess the wrong platter was used when they did the final press. And supposedly it still sounds fine and everything's great, but um, they want to correct the issue. So they're sending um, free, replacements out to everyone who who had who ordered this one um, and they're gonna throw in some extra swag so I think that's pretty cool that's awesome and stand up of them to uh, to admit their mistake and, and correct it so that's pretty cool but uh, yeah if, if you haven't listened to Vagabond um, definitely definitely check them out um, it's I'm trying to think of a way to describe it and kind of lo-fi um, a little bit more like bedroom pop uh, music so really good stuff and I have just two more records left, um, and these I got free, uh, which was great. Uh, at work, they do these like monthly things, and uh, sometimes I win them. 
win an award and you get $50 gift card for Amazon. So, uh, you know, I prefer to buy my vinyl um, directly from the artist or from an independent shop. But uh, if they give me an Amazon gift card, I'm going to get vinyl with it. So uh, the first thing I definitely knew I wanted to order was um, Nico Case uh, Live in Austin. Um, this is this is great. I, I absolutely love Nico. She's just phenomenal. She can do no wrong. Um, and she is amazing live. So I knew this was going to be a great album. And it really, really is. And it's on 180 gram vinyl, just, just black. Um, but really excellent, excellent, excellent album. So I picked that one up. And then another one that I picked up. Um, this is uh, Muna. And it's actually a double LP, which is cool. And it's on lovely, lovely, lovely pink vinyl. Pink is one of my favorite vinyl colors. So, um, yeah, so that's cool. Really pretty. Let me show it to you. It's nice, right? Uh, Moon is a, it's a group of three women. Um, they make sort of, uh, I guess kind of rock and dance music. I don't know. I can't even describe it exactly. It's not really electronic because uh, there are two really excellent guitar players, um, but their voices just blend so beautifully and uh, they make some really excellent positive, um, queer positive music, uh, just great. I love these guys. Um, I kind of stumbled onto them a little bit late. They, uh, I was listening to them actually the day before I went to see Vagabond and, um, and they were actually playing in Philly at the same time as Vagabond, so I was like, darn, could have gone to see them, but uh, I'll catch them next time they come around this way. Uh, great, great music. Just really, um, really fun stuff. I really like it. A lot of emotion. Totally dig it. So, um, and I love free vinyl. I mean, can't really complain. So, um, so that's all I've got right now. I have a few pre-orders. Um, I pre-ordered the new Girl Pool and uh, I pre-ordered Perfume Genius. Um, I am really excited about that Perfume Genius album. Um, the, the first track that they've released is just unreal it's so good and I know that Laura Snapes who who's a, a music reviewer said that it's um, her favorite album in years she says it's so phenomenal so I can't wait to get that one um, and I am seeing Perfume Genius actually in concert uh, in May so I'm super super excited about that too so um, so that's all I've got right now but um, as the pre-orders and other things come in I'll uh, try to do another one of these videos and I have to get back to my series of um, you know bands you should know uh, three bands you should know because I still have some Canadian bands that I need to introduce to you guys um, so I have to try to find some more time for this <laughs> adventure um, but yeah and I haven't even been watching um, too many videos either from you guys but I, I gotta make some time to, to keep doing that so it's just been a busy busy year so far um, but yeah so I will hopefully be coming out with a new video for you guys soon and uh, until then take care